Hey there everybody, Richie D here, looking at the new app from Samsung for the Gear VR, which is called Milk VR, which is a curated virtual reality app, which has some very interesting features. Let's check it out now. All right, so this is Milk VR. This is the uh, little intro screen, and almost immediately we should be taken into the uh, VR space. Okay, here we are, beautiful. As you can see, right away, we get some videos lining up for our viewing pleasure. Uh, right away, we can see here, now there are quite a few different videos that come up on the front screen, um, and these would be uh, different samples from the different categories, I'd say. Uh, the top here, you can see you've got different options to search, to download, there's fresh, which would be the most recent, ones that have been watched the most, and then some categories, action, planet VR, sports, and VR life. So I've actually downloaded a couple of them, so let's have a look at that. So let's go into downloaded. All right, so what we've got here is Flight 101, so sky high. So we can see here that we've got a tick. That means that I've downloaded it. So when we go into it, we can play, or you can see here the preview screen. Now, interestingly, you can see right away, one of the major things is that it's got this big sort of black circle at the top, and you've got this uh, space down the bottom here. So you can see that it's more of a 360 degree strip as I move all the way around, rather than a spherical, all immersive uh, VR content. But let's play that and see what it's like. There we go, so a bit of an intro kind of uh, ad there. Okay, so hopefully you can hear oops, a little bit of that uh, voice content. I'll up a little bit and it's pretty cool actually because the the video the um the, the commentator is actually describing what's happening with these uh with these planes and uh it, it's quite a cool experience to listen to it now one thing about it is great that you can uh forward this to the area that you want to go so there you go we'll just move forward and you can see that the resolution is actually pretty good we can see quite clearly the numbers the letters uh the stream the uh, coming out of the plane and we go all the way around to the back seat so we're now looking backwards oh I'm feeling a little bit sick there and I think we're about to go upside down yes we are okay enough of that oh I'm actually feeling a bit sick all right so go out of that one so instead of going to the downloaded version there's actually another um, episode to flight 101 so let's look at something you can do here which is quite new and quite interesting which is stream the content so let's look at flight 105 for example so when you get into this you can see here, the option is to get the best quality, which is to download it, or to instant play. Now, to give you an idea on the downloading side of things, it takes about a one second for one second. So if it's a two-minute video, it takes about two minutes to download. I'm not really sure of the file size uh, because you download them within the app here. I wouldn't mind having the app open within Oculus Home or having its own app uh, so that I could download it before uh, preloading. Maybe, maybe that does exist, but I'm, I'm not really sure. Now let's do the instant play. I'm actually sitting only like two meters away from my router. So let's see what the uh, playback looks like. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Everywhere you move, your little sort of scrolly thing follows you around. That's nice. Right, here we go. That looks pretty good. Oops, we've kind of buffered there, I guess. All right, so... Let's turn that down a little bit. You can see here the quality is obviously uh, degraded compared to the downloaded one that we tried. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you're able to stream instead of having to sit there and download and take up um, take up your know, local storage space. So that, I guess, at the moment is the compromise. Um, look, I've got a pretty good uh, speed internet connection here, 100 megabit connection. So whatever speed they can give me is what I'll be playing it back at. When you can see that I had a bit of, bit of a buffer again there. And you can see again, when you look up and down, you've got that kind of ring, which, uh, look, it doesn't keep you within this uh, completely. Um, and as you can see, the picture is definitely not as good as the downloaded. So if you're gonna use this, my suggestion is take your time pre-plan and download. The frustrating thing there, of course, is that if it's a five minute segment, which one of them was that I downloaded, it takes five minutes to download. And you'd probably prefer not to be sitting there with this on waiting for it to download. 
Uh, I'm sure they'll come up with a better solution for that too. But there you go. All right, we'll give that another, we'll give something else a go. So I've got another downloaded one here, let's see. So we had a car one, this is pretty cool too. So you can see we can choose to delete that from the hard drive if we want to. Let's give this a go too. All right, so this is a NASCAR drive. So we are, here's the driver. And that's pretty cool. And again, look, again, because you've got this black strip at the top, it does take you out of that environment a little bit. Um, if you keep your head sort of straight, you kind of don't see it. But look, at the end of the day, you can see it and you know it. And I guess you take it for what it is. Uh, but that's pretty cool. You can see here the quality again, when you've downloaded it, uh, is very good. And I like the uh, commentary that goes along with it. You really get a sense for uh, the speed um, and also the manoeuvres that these guys take in this car. Very cool. So let's get out of that. Now this time, I'm going to search for uh, the other um, the other one of these companion pieces for the for the race car. So we'll go to search and I'll search. So tap search, then speak. Racing. Okay, nothing there. What should I... Oh, okay. Search again. Race car. Okay, I'll try one more time. Maybe just race. Race? Ah, okay, so I had to say the exact word. Um, look, that could probably be improved, obviously, as well. Uh, if I say racing car, you'd think I might get to this, but okay, anyway, we'll, we'll take that as it is. Like again, you can see that this one was downloaded, that came up in the search result, this one isn't. So let's check this one out. Okay, again, we'll instant play this and see how it looks. Loading, I like that, I really like this. Uh, woo! That's probably making you sick over at home, sorry. Buffering right now. No, why not? Oh, okay, that was, that was really weird. Um, let's try that again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with this. Race. Okay, so let's try this again. Instant play. Come on, you can do it. Okay, this time I'll, st I'll sit still. Maybe maybe that was me. Ah, there we go. That's better. All right, but not so better in terms of the streaming. Okay, actually, this one doesn't look... Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Except for the buffering. Ooh, and it, yeah, okay. So it, does, it still does break up. So definitely the preference is... If you really want to get a good experience out of this uh, particular app, you want to uh, download it because as you can see, the, the picture quality is not that good. Yeah, that's yeah, that's really not, not very watchable. Sorry, Milk VR, about that. But look, I'm sure that will be improved a long time. And look, you know, it's going to be a combination of their server streaming it out, my... Uh, router and obviously you know, my note form being able to handle the, the streaming as well. All right, let's get out of that um, and look at maybe something that is all immersive. So again, I look at what I've downloaded. I've got a Kiwi Crush here and we'll play that. So let's see something. Ooh, this is pretty cool. So this is obviously somewhere in New Zealand. All right, let's forward that. Okay, where are we? Okay, so we're on a kayak, very nice. Look down. Ah, I like this. This is very cool. So you've got the helmet of the guy, which is actually that space there. That's, I like that. If we look all the way up. So this is totally immersive. I'm not sure what that is. That's, that's a bit weird. What, what is that? That looks, ooh, that's interesting. So let's go all the way around. Oh, there's a dude. We'll go all the way around. And there's that weird little, I guess that's just, you know, some weird thing that's come out of the, the filming. That was a bit of sort of weird luck there to see that, wasn't it? All right, but look at this. This, is, this looks pretty cool. Let's turn around and see this. I'm actually feeling a little bit sick, actually, watching this. But the resolution's definitely much better. Oh, okay. That I guess that, that does it for our... Um, uh, gear VR. I've got a cool down, obviously. Uh, again, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, look, the idea of having a 
uh, curated video servers I think is fantastic. Um, but I guess the management of streaming versus download versus storage and all that sort of thing uh, will be sorted out over time. Uh, that's it for me. I can not do any possible more uh, video at this point in time. Uh, but uh, give us uh, all your questions as usual, and I'll um, and I'll be there to respond. Uh, have a have a great day slash evening, and until next time.